Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and this past weekend we just had the final NA Open for the time being. Uh, so it was a span of eight weeks. My team did really well in all of them. We placed in every single one. Uh, we got first four times, maybe fifth depending how this one goes. Um, I don't want to spoil it. But um, yeah, super fun tournament. Really happy I could participate in it. And in this one, Squashy was actually at the Gamergy tournament in Madrid uh, with Ace One. So we had Jack Chepo. Um, or his name in games now I think stupid Chepo or stupid man or something like that I don't know it's only troll but um he subbed in for us he's a really solid player um so today we're gonna be covering the semi-final games now there was like one other match that I kind of wanted to record but it was like the second round or something it was also like really good games uh it's just an unlucky matchup for them to face us so early on but um yeah, the semifinals and the finals were pretty competitive, so definitely want to record both those games for you guys. So, let's get into the semis. Alright, so the first map is Siege, and it is Nuts and Bolts. So, you can see we both have pennies. Um, Penny's super dominant right now. Obviously, her star power is a little broken, um, but the only difference with our comps is that they chose to have a Carl instead of our Jean. Now, the reason why we chose Jean is just because it's... It's a lot more versatile than a Carl. Carl's just kind of like mid control, um, which you know you need. Don't get me wrong, but Gene can be really effective on defense, and we don't have a tank with this comp, right? So the Penny and the Barley are the ones that do the most damage, um, but the Gene's like really good mid control and really good on defense. Now Penny's turret's not bad on defense too. Don't get me wrong. Barley is like a little useless. If he gets a super, he can kind of like spread everyone out backcourt. Um, but definitely Gene's super is huge on defense, even with the nerf. So you can see right off the bat, we kind of dominate the first round. I think we pick up every bolt. Um, we had really good control on all of our matchups. So now we're pushing a little bit and you know, you can see, oh, okay, it's stupid Chepo. I knew it was like something with stupid in it. Um, so they're doing a decent job defending it. They had to use the penny turret um, to defend. And you can see, I'm just gonna throw my penny turret out there just because of the splash, look at that. Um, so just like that we get it down to 49 percent and we already have a two bolt lead so it's looking really good for us we also have mid control um now we don't really have a high dps comp but it is really controlly so we got a pinch together um to kind of make plays happen with one another so me and bobby have had like pretty good communication so far i'm chipping down lance just so he has to like play a little more passive because we do want to finish it with two pushes um there's no need to like drag this game on so you can see we're going to be like really aggressive towards those bolts just because we want to finish it as soon as possible. Um, so see Lance, 100 HP, about to go down, but we are going to get the robot. So they almost came back. They got it a second too late, otherwise it would have been a tie. Um, but right now we're just going to like do work on that save. So you can see Jack just taking out his lane and we're all pushing up. I have the penny turret. I'm sure Jack's getting close to a super. There he is. Um, so at this point we kind of knew it was over so you can see Bobby doing a little bit of BM we all join in um, and yeah that is the first game all right so next up we are on oh, I always forget the siege maps I'm so bad with their names um, but it's a siege map it's one of the original ones I don't want to say assembly attack I don't think it's assembly attack anyways I'm sure you guys may or may not know the name so I don't want to dwell on it too much but you can see we have similar comps again they chose Leon instead of our Barley. Now, Bar Leon's really good for mid control again, but they're gonna have a tough time doing damage to the safe with a Leon. Um, so they don't really have the best defensive comp. I mean, like Spike's not bad on defense. If you get a super down, it slows the robot. Um, and you know, you can drop the penny turret in front and it does like a pretty good job slowing the robot down. Kind of like prevents people from like being too aggressive behind the robot too. Um, so, you know, it's not awful, but the best defense, in my opinion, is like a tank, um, or like someone that has like a lot of slows, like a Frank or something, or just like really high DPS brawlers. Um, so they do manage to get the first robot. We only got one bolt that entire round, feels bad. Um, but you can see we're gonna have really good defense here. Um, Jack's doing a good job keeping everyone back. I'm going to work on the bot. I'm just gonna die here. Um, but they only get... 7% down on the safe So definitely some pretty solid defense now Jack gets a really good super there We're gonna have a tough time getting mid control though. That's the only thing with the comp that we have um, Especially because they have all the positioning we need like to get at least one kill to really get like 
a good control and start like picking these bolts up. So unfortunately, I'm one shot shy of Eric um, and he just gets away with 680. Jack's doing a good job on his lane, takes out uh, Lance and Bobby's turret hits more than twice, almost takes him out. So we are getting a little bit of mid control, but just in the time of that, um, you can see that they are going to get the second siege robot and you know that's going to make us play defense and just force us back so i do take out eric beforehand um he would have been a nuisance to jack so definitely helpful but i do have my slow so i can just slow it down and kind of walk inside of it and you know it's already down at like 45 percent like 40 percent going down um so they're not really going to get any damage there i think they got six percent with the penny mortar um you know the penny mortar is kind of broken so it went from like 6% to like 18% or something like that. Um, I don't know, I suck at quick, quick math. Um, but they do have that mid control again. And you know, you can see we're kind of pinned back just because we do have really similar comps. So it's really hard for one of us to really gain um, any positioning once we lost it already. Luckily, Bobby takes out Eric. So we can start pushing up that right side. Bobby has two bolts too. So even if we don't get this one, which, you know, it's looking like really close right now. But even if we don't get this one, odds are we can get a really good fourth push as long as they don't spawn trap us. So eight to eight, they just get a last second bolt, which, you know, it could actually be like in the benefit of us as long as we can defend this properly. Um, so you do see I have my super, so I'm definitely gonna look to do the same thing. I don't mind if I die here just because I'll spawn in invincible and I can tank the robot a little bit. Um, but they are doing, you can see this push was a lot harder to stop. Um, you know, they all had kind of their supers, and also it was a tankier bot. Not tankier, but it did more damage and moved faster. Um, so Eric does overextend, and that's going to let me push up on my lane, and that's actually going to be huge for us. So we're already up eight bolts, or six bolts, four bolts now. Um, but, you know, we have like a decent lead, and there's 20 seconds, so we want to get like as big as a robot as possible. Um, Jack, Bobby clearing it up, and, you know, they just... And walk around and grab all the bolts now so we just got to watch out for leon and the objective here is for everyone to stay alive because we can all do decent damage and we need all the damage we can get but odds are we can one push them with an 18 bolt robot so as long as we're all healthy bobby almost gets taken out just has to like run away there because he has his turret right his turret's gonna be huge for this push um and you can just see the penny trying to defend it it's not going very well um so the penny does get taken on in the process bobby gets his turret out i get my super unsafe and you know we all just kind of collapse on the safe here and bobby has that splash so by standing in front there it's actually doing like five times the damage a normal penny shot would do or not five times really like three times of uh, damage so that actually ended up helping us and we do take the second game and the high set or siege set all right next up we have the brawl ball set so you can see we have kind of different comps this time. Um, Barley's a good counter for Rico. If he can get to that middle box kind of on his side, but you know, I'm going to do work on my side. I love Spike on this map. So our win condition in Brawl Ball, a lot of the times like me win lane. Um, not saying that like they do bad or anything. I just like usually dominate my lane as Spike. And you can see I already have like the right side one. I'm pushing them back. Uh, they're all really low and you know, I could almost score, but I'm kind of squishy. That's the only downside of Spike. But, you know, Bobby's there to clean up. And we get an early lead just like that. Okay, so 40 seconds in, up 1-0. Um, I'm going to try to do the exact same thing on my side because why not? It worked, right? So you're going to see me being really aggressive here. And hopefully I can get a good super off. And look at that coordination by me and Bobby. I kind of push them in. Bobby gets a nice super. And then, you know, we just finish them off. So a little... I won't even call that a trick shot, just a bounce shot. Um, just a nice quick game of Brawl Ball, just finishing it off with a little style. All right, next up we have Pinhole Punt. Um, so even though the NA Open was competitive this week, we're definitely like trolling a lot more than we usually do. So you can see this isn't really a practical comp, um, at least for Pinhole at least. You know, like some of these brawlers will work like with different comps, but I don't really stand behind this comp just jack readied up on gene you know bobby wanted to frank so you're like okay you know what screw it um so you can see bobby died pretty fast and that just kind of lets them get positioning and they can like pinch us and you know do everything and when nita gets that bear too it's gonna make it so hard for jack to do anything and she can kind of just like chain them so i have to be put like i'm in an awkward position here you can see i'm getting pinched uh so i want to like do some work really good super from bobby 
Um, usually, obviously, you don't want to break your boxes, but I think in that case, it like kind of prevented a goal. They were like really like strangling us, and we couldn't get out of our zone. So that did give us like a little room to breathe. But um, you know, we don't really have an explosive comp or something that can push them back really fast with the gene. Um, and just like that, you know, they're gonna score. They definitely have a better comp than ours. Um, theirs is a lot more conventional, and ours is just kind of like we were bored. So. Let's try it out. Um, so Jack does get a pull. Um, if Bobby can get like a big super, you know, that can change the game. Or if I can like really dominate my lane. But um, Carl is a counter to Spike. And Morton's just gonna, or Lance is just gonna live with 29 HP. You know, I just decided to use my super on him. Bobby does have his super, so good alt by him. Um, unfortunately, he is just shy of the walk-in. Little more HP and he could have done it, but um, Jack does pull the bear there. Definitely. Not a play that you want to do. Um, I'm, I'm sure it was an accident. You know, he played great this tournament, so we all like screw up every now and then. But um, you can see with the Poco heal, they just apply so much pressure to us, and we don't have that explosive damage to really deal with it with the Gene. Um, the Frank's nice, but he does feed them a lot of supers, which, you know, the Poco and the Nita just chain supers. It's like really hard for us to really get anything done. Um, so Morin tries to bait Bobby there. It doesn't really work out very well. Uh, Bobby does take out Morin in exchange, but you know, we're still really pressed back. We can't really do anything. Um, Eric gets a heal off on Lance and you know, it's just gonna be a jack left. So we definitely got dominated that game. Um, a lot of it was due to our comp and you know, just being bored. So wanting to try something fun, but the next game we'll take a little more seriously. All right, so it is Backyard Bowl. Um, so you can see they're sticking with the exact same comp that they had last time. Um, I don't really think it's as good on this map just because this map's a lot more open. Nita can't be as effective with all the open space when, you know, there's boxers. She can kind of like weave in and out. So I'm gonna look to take advantage of my side early on again, just to get us that early lead. And you can see I do take out Lance here um, and I'm telling them like, yo, give me the ball, let me score. Um, I'm gonna almost take out more than two. Unfortunately, um, they couldn't really take out the Poco for whatever reason, and <clears throat> I do manage to take out the Poco. Uh, Bobby, kind of unnecessary in the pull, and he does throw there. If he just passed me the ball, I could have walked it in, um, but you know, he doesn't, unfortunately. So, uh, we should be up 1-0 right now, but you know, just like a little misplay, um, it happens though. Um, and now they kind of like, they're getting positioned, they're all starting to get their alts, which is really annoying um, with their comp. Ham does do pretty good against Poco, so as long as we can like play our matchups right, I think we'll be fine. I can kind of deal with a Carl um, in some situations, but when he does have his super and if he does want to play like really aggressive on me, it's tough. Um, so here, obviously, I have to get a good super off just to like kind of deny them that area and just force them back because we are in a really awkward place. Um, so that's why we chose Pam because we anticipated a Poco a little bit and you know Pam is just really solid DPS wise, control wise. Obviously the heal is not as impactful as Poco but it's just constant sustain and you know that can really help your team in a long game and in equal team fights. So I do take out Morton, um, that's going to be a 3 on 2 for us. So we do want to push them back here as much as possible before it comes back. Um, couldn't really make too much happen. Eric does have his heal. So I want to move up the right side here and maybe make a play happen. <laughs> so I'm going to chip Eric and then Morn will pinch over and I'll start chipping him. Uh, just so they're a little uncomfortable and you know, we can like obviously keep the pressure on them. Bobby misses his super, unfortunately. Eric's trying to sneak up on me. Um, I think I do take him out here maybe. No, he gets away with 56 HP for now. I know Morn's back there, so I'm just going to be careful. Um, and you know, when it does get into these range fights, you can just see how much better our comp is than theirs here. So 10 seconds left, we're already up a guy. So I do want to make a play here and hopefully get a goal. Um, I take out Lance too. And then I'm telling Bobby to walk it in, but he probably would have died. So good call from him to pass it to me. It caught me a little off guard. Um, but you know, we do end up getting the goal and just like that, we're going to take the brawl ball set and we're up to nothing. All right, so we are up to nothing, um, and now it's onto the high set. So I think this map's called Stop, I want to say. Um, it's one of the newer heist maps. Double Tank's really popular here, so everyone just kind of sticks with it. Um, Barley is also really good. If you look at the map, you can see like the barrels in front, which is kind of like retro heist. Um, every heist map used to have that, and then they kind of updated it so throwers weren't that that good. 
but a few maps still do have it and you know Terrars are gonna be really effective on those maps so you can see Jack gets a good alt off I'm trying to push up a little bit and just be a nuisance to them um, Lance is gonna get away but you know it's three on two and a primo like they can do a lot of damage but if we can like all get collective damage on the safe definitely out damage them their barley has to be on defense which is like an issue for them too <clears throat> I choose not to run in there just because we'll all die well not all of us but me and Bobby will die and this way I can like kind of tank for Jack and just be a distraction so you can see they were doing work on our safe the entire time too but just because we like kind of grouped up and did it we could take it out a lot more efficiently um, and you know really quick heist game um, and I think we played that pretty well all right so this is the other new heist map. I think this one's called Side Story. One Side Story, one's Pit Stop. I always mess them up. Um, but you can see we're going with like kind of an unconventional comp here. Like the Spike's job is to watch for the tanks when they go on the jump pad. Um, but that's also kind of the Rico's job. Um, and you know, Brock does counter me and Bobby like pretty hard. And they have Eric for um, our tank. So I think they definitely have better comp than us here. Um, but you know, it's definitely like winnable. Um, we never really practiced with this comp. We didn't practice at all actually. But <laughs> I don't really like the combination of Rico and Spike. So you can see it's just kind of chipping. Um, I do have my super, but there's not really a really good opportunity for me to use it. Everyone's just kind of feeling one another out. Um, so if I want to be effective, I know I can't just stay on defense. I gotta like make something happen just because of our comp. Usually if you have double tank, the Spike will stay back. Um, I do get taken out there, Eric kind of slowed me down, and Lance finished me, good shot from him. Um, and Bobby's gonna go for a super, does take Eric out, so if Jack had a super, now would be the time to go in. Um, I'm going aggro, just to get something done, hopefully. Um, and I'm just gonna like be a nuisance in the top corner, you can see he wastes the Brock ult on me, but then he does take me out. Um, I don't really like the super from Jag, it kind of gives up all our positioning, and Bobby gets uh, double tap too. So just like that, they're gonna like just walk up. Um, I get taken out from one alt, that's a good alt from him. Um, and you know, they're gonna apply so much pressure on our safe. Not really the best alt from Bobby, Jack's just kinda going for it at this point. Um, and you know, it's just kind of a panic, so I'm gonna take out Morn here. Lance is still up unfortunately. Oh, Morn survives with 30 HP, that sucks. Um, and Lance is still there, you know, Brock is really tough for a spike to deal with. So they did a huge amount of damage compared to our measly 4% with their push. Um, they definitely coordinated it really well and they got a good counter push going because originally we did have position and you know they kind of waited for a team wipe to take us out and just push together and you can just see how effective that worked for them. Um, so with the bull coming and obviously I'm spawning in right now, I have to play defense, so I'm kind of like just praying that my teammates can do something incredible. Uh, but you can just see they have a really good comp to deal with, a Rico and a bull, so I, yeah, we didn't even get 1% there with our final push. Um, so definitely a really tough matchup for us, but they played it really well to be um, fair to them too. So really well played. All right, so for the third and final heist map, we have Kaboom Canyon, one of my personal favorites. I don't really like her comp too much. Um, obviously, the Jessies to deal with the tank. We knew they were going to play this comp, and Jessie's really good against Poco and Bull. But you can see right off the bat, um, I think I should have cut over where Bobby is, and he just stayed on the Carl because Carl is like a bit of an awkward matchup for Jesse. He's just so tanky and. He does out damage and they have the same range and you know he has the grass to hide in um so you can just see i have to play like a little more passive than i'd like to and the bull and the poco just walk up their lane kind of jack does a good job trying to take him out but you know unfortunately he does get taken out in the process um and just like that they did 62 percent which is a crazy first push um that's definitely the threat when they have a bull and a poco um you know you've been seeing them play a lot of poco it's just basically to heal the tank so the tanks can go off uh you'll see it right there but not really the best value there um and bubby does get a good super it takes out eric but you know i'm on that car all the entire time and he just gets away again like 80 hp it's brutal it's happened a few times in a row now um in the past games and you know it's a tough matchup for me if i keep getting on that side with the jet with the carl sorry um but you know as long as the carl like can't really do too much damage to the tanks but bobby's putting really good pressure on eric here 
But Eric isn't threat, it's just his heal sort of. So if we if we can make him pop his heal beforehand, that's really good. Um, but you can see Morton just kind of supers away and Eric's there to heal them. And you know, that's gonna be game. So they do manage to take the high set from us. Um, so it is two to one right now in favor of us. All right, so now we're on to the bounty set. Now, if we do take this, um, we do win the match. So first maps excel. The only difference in our comp is that we have a Jean and they have a Penny. Penny and Jean both really strong brawlers on this map. Uh, both solid choices. You're gonna see me overextending for this middle star a little bit. I think I can get away, but I do get caught out. But look how high Eric went in exchange to kill me. So Bobby's there to cover for me and gets a really good kill. Um, he does think he can kill Morn here, but you know Morn just gets him too. Um, and then I'm there to clean up Lance, so we kind of covered for one another. Um, it worked out pretty good because right now we're at four stars, and you know only one of us has three stars because we got that middle star, which is really crucial. Um, so just because of that, they do have to play more aggressive, and we can definitely like catch them overextending. Now Bobby has their pull, so or has a pull, so they definitely need to respect that. Jack gets a really good super, catches Eric overextending, and you know he has nowhere to go, so. Um, and then Jack's just completely pushing him back on his lane. Lance needs to get his super to deal with Jack properly. Bobby has a pull, so they have to respect that. They can't push up too much. Um, and Jack does a really good job coming over and just taking out that penny turret, so it can't really be effective at all. Now, I'm on the Brock, which is a matchup I'm fine with. Jack's there to help with the penny. Uh, penny just gets taken away, and you can see how low I am. I do get taken out, but Bobby's there to pull him because, you know, they overextended to kill me again. Um, so Bobby definitely makes them pay for that and you know, we keep our lead So 35 seconds left. Uh, they definitely need to be really aggressive I have my super Bobby has super Jack has four stars. He can kind of be more passive. They don't have a gene so um, as long as we're like aware um, That the Brock has a super and you know, just don't get pushed back too much And I think we'll be fine at this point Bobby is just like kind of threatening them makes Eric use a super way too early uh, That would have been really helpful for them to have to pinch us um, I catch Lance overextending too, like he kind of has to at that point and you know we're just kind of cleaning up at this point so a little BM coming out and we do take the first bounty match pretty convincingly. Um, player kick. No. Alright guys, um, so there was another bounty match um, but unfortunately my recording kind of screwed up for some, I don't understand how, um, but they did manage to take the bounty match from us. I think it was a pretty close game, but you know, they did pull up with the win. So right now, uh, just imagine that they won the last game and it's 1-1 because that's actually what it is. Um, so you can see we're all just kind of feeling each other out. They did choose to go with a bow here um, instead of our gene. Now again, Bobby's really comfortable in gene, so we definitely want to play with stuff that we're comfortable with. See, Bobby does overextend though and gets taken out. Um, he did grab the first star, so it wasn't like a total um, waste of effort, but you know, it definitely isn't the ideal trade if one of your teammates can't recover for you. Um, so Jack's getting caught out too. Uh, Martin's doing a good job on that bow, and you know, we, it's not looking too good for us right now. Uh, down four to one, there's still like a minute and a bit to go, and Eric does do a good job of taking out our grass, so now I can't really be as effective on that side because I have well, first off, Piper's star power, right? She gets that extra damage when she's in the grass. <laughs> and then also, they can just see where I am the entire time. Meanwhile, I have no idea where Eric is. So we, what we really need to do is push them back. And I think they make a mistake of giving Jack too much space to work with here. Um, Eric taps me, so I have to come over. Just because if we go down anymore at this point, I know it's probably GG. So I thought I killed Eric here. I just clipped that bush. I called it out in the chat. I'm like, yo, I got Eric. And then it's like, oh, bush. Um, so that does force them to push back a little bit though, and you can see, ju just see like we're moving up. I think I tapped Lance here, yeah, so he definitely wants to be careful, um, but you know, he chooses not to back up and he just gets caught out, so that's huge for us. Um, and just like that, it's three to four, so now we're in a pretty commanding spot. I feel I'd rather be in our position than theirs, just because we have them pinched back, we all have our supers, um, and they're kind of freaking out, so. Really good super from Jack that forces him into the middle and I just snipe him um, and you know then Eric has to overextend obviously so I tap him too and that's gonna win us the bounty miss set. So alright guys so that is gonna summarize it for the semi-finals of the final NA Open week number eight. Uh, tomorrow I will be covering the finals and for those of you who didn't watch uh, you'll get to see if we manage to go 5 of 8 in all the NA Opens. But yeah, really solid games today. Sorry about that last bounty map that I didn't record properly. Uh, it screwed up somehow and now it's out of my battle log. So I can't get it. Um, 
But, you know, we did manage to take it 3-1. to one. Really good games to the opponents. Uh, they definitely put up a good fight. And tomorrow we play against, I think it's Slash, Tunisian, and I forget their third. It's like Beast or something like that. Um, but anyways, make sure you come back and check out the video tomorrow. And it sounds like Brawl Stars has a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So hopefully I will be back on the YouTube grind and not just pro gameplay when I get a little more interested in the game. I have faith in this update. It sounds really sick so far. Um, so definitely looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.